Hi, this is Brian Newhouse from Classical Minnesota Public Radio, and I'm very excited that this fall, starting on October 16th, I'm going to be hosting a trip down the Danube River on a beautiful cruise ship, and it's in celebration of the 250th anniversary of Beethoven. So a Beethoven and a classical music lover's dream come true, 10 days of Vienna, Prague, Bratislava, Budapest, uh, Salzburg, the sights, the sounds, the wines, the foods, and most importantly, the music of these masters, and especially Beethoven, in honor of that birthday. What's making it extra special is the uh, folks are going to be joining me on the on the cruise, Natsuki and Michael, two violinists from the Minnesota Orchestra, and they're going to be providing some of the music that we enjoy on board and some of their insights as professional world-class musicians. And I'm assuming this is not your first time in Vienna and Salzburg, uh, but this is, is my first time. Your first time. I've never been to any of those places. She's new. So I'm a newbie. <laughs> okay. What do you? Uh, let me ask the newbie first. What are you excited about from this trip? Everything. I mean, you learn about all these cities and how much influence it's had on these amazing composers. And you know, I've been studying violin since I was three. So I have this, like, I guess, a dream almost, like, of what it's supposed to be like. And so I'm. I'm excited to see what it actually is going to be like and see all the, the famous places and, you know, where certain pieces were composed. And, yeah, and on top of that, Beethoven's 250th. Like, are you kidding me? I got to go on that, you know. <laughs> Michael, you've been to some of these places before. Are you going to return to some? Any highlights you're looking forward to? Well, I believe we're going to Vienna. And Vienna is kind of the epicenter of the music that we mostly play, which is, is going to be great. Uh, I have not actually been to Prague or Budapest, so this is part of my bucket list uh, to be able to see the kind of Dvorak area and the Bartok area and get, get that into my system and see what they were hearing and seeing when they were composing. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to being on a river cruise boat. I've never done that before. Um, seeing what that's going to be like in a little tube going down the Danube. And <laughs> then we're going to get off and we're going to scramble up and uh, she and I are going to take you by the hand metaphorically to some concerts, I think, mm -hmm. seeing some shows, let you know what we know about it and what we're looking forward to seeing and hearing. We're going to get to see great concert halls. We've played in great concert halls, but what we're going to be doing is very, very intimate. And I love that kind of salon type of performance where it's two people you can you're going to be within 20 feet of us no matter where you were sitting you're going to see us breathe you're going to see us giggle you're going to see us sweat when something gets <laughs> tough so it's going to be right uh, we're going to be right up close and personal with everybody and um i think it the, we'll probably make some long lasting friends after this tour yeah I've, I've had the opportunity to go on this tour before and what you just described is exactly right oh, it's good. an extremely <laughs> intimate, beautiful setting. Um, we, there's a couple of different places where performances might happen on, on the ship. It could be in some of the dining areas, and then there's another place where it's a little away from that, and it's really cozy, and it's, it's up close and personal with fabulous music and musicians. Mm -hmm. 